So Gunna seemingly disses Little Baby and Little Dirk on the vicious new song Bread and Butter. Hey, what's up? I'm A Dub, and check this out. So released on Friday, June 2nd, Bread and Butter here is gonna address all the commotion over the last six months surrounding his controversial plea deal in the ongoing RICO case against Young Thug's YSL Collective, who prosecutors allege is a criminal street gang. Over a sparse, speaker-knocking beat from Turbo, Omar Grand, and Cam Griffin, Gunna hits back at those who labeled him a snitch for pleading his way out of the high-profile case, and suggests he was tricked by lawyers and the Fulton County District Attorney into taking a plea deal. Gunna also warns his haters that he can have them hit and seemingly pledges his allegiance to Young Thug, rapping, Fuck, I pay the lawyers all on me, I'm spoke. Please, I won't have to say a word that that's your railroad. Niggas find it hard to understand, though. Dog ain't put me down, I've been locked down, don't know which way to go. Never gave no statement, no ugly to take no stand on them. Over that view, niggas on it, trust me, I'ma stand on it. Lawyers in the DA did some sneaky shit, I fell for it. On my P's and Q's, because this time I be prepared for it, yo. Gunna's lyrical darts become more targeted towards the end of his first verse when he appears to take aim at his drip harder collaborator Little Baby for switching up on him and even accuses him of being in business with a snitch. People shit I'm seeing niggas fall back. You bitch ass niggas got me at the topic of the chat. You switched on me when well, you know you in business with a rat. And the boy that's like your brother ain't nobody speak on that. The city see it clearly if I had to stay the fact. You still fuck with a nigga that done got your partner with. How these niggas talking only knew him cause it's slay. He rap but need more streams. How do you put my name on wax? Gunna appears to be referencing the recent allegations against Little Baby's label boss, Quality Control Music co-founder Pierre P. Thomas. Last month, alleged paperwork surfaced stating that Thomas had fed information to the police back in 2010 over the murder of a close friend. Of course, he denied the allegations and said in the Instagram stories, I'm a goat, don't ever confuse me with a rat. Now take that fraudulent incident report and stick it up y'all ass. I love my freedom, so stop playing with it. Little Baby was also one of several rappers who appeared to unfollow Gunna on Instagram following his plea deal. As for the you still F what a dude that done got your partner whacked line, rumors suggest Baby's friend and collaborator Little Marlo was killed by an affiliate of 21 Savage, who the 4PF rapper is on good terms with. Gunna's rhymes could also be aimed at Little Dirk, who seemingly dissed him on an unreleased song and put him on blast for telling on Young Thug in a recent interview with Academics. Man, I don't sit up and play games, man. That man told if you should have went in there and kept your mouth closed. Oh, okay, yeah, that's what I was. I, I thought you were trying to reverse it. I'm like, hell no. I'm like, I just said, I no, I just said, I'm I like, almost scares you. I'm like, yo, how did, huh? <laughs> I'm like, I don't even gonna like, hell no. I just never, I never, I never like, I follow. I, just, I don't know. I never like. Why well, I didn't, I don't know. I just don't take that shit, Instagram and all that shit type of shit serious. But if you a rat, you a rat. And if you rewind this clip a little bit, I looked into the camera and I told you, if you a rat, I fucking hate you. Because I love Thug. Like, cause that, took, that took away half of my... That took away... That made me who I am today. That took away half of my life. Like, motherfucker telling on my pops and all. And that's what, you know what I'm saying? I need it. So I was raised by a woman. You know what I'm saying? Which is my mama. Tell me where that nigga I know. So I really hate rats with real passions. Gunna accepted a plea deal in the YSL Rico case just before Christmas and was subsequently released from Fulton County Jail, where he'd been locked up for roughly seven months. He pleaded guilty to a single racketeering conspiracy charge via an Alfred plea, which is a formal admission of guilt towards charges in criminal court, while the defendant simultaneously expresses their innocence towards those same charges. Gunna has come under particularly intense scrutiny due to a video of him admitting that YSL is a gang in court during his plea deal. Legal experts say his plea, and those taken by other co-defendants, makes Young Thug's fight for freedom an even bigger uphill battle as prosecutors seek to paint him as the ringleader of the crew. Young Thug remains behind bars awaiting trial on eight charges, including conspiracy to violate the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act and participation in criminal street gang activity, along with various drug and weapons offenses. Despite the intense backlash, Gunna and his legal team have repeatedly denied that he snitched on Thug and his fellow YSL defendants. While I have agreed to always be truthful, I want to make it perfectly clear that I have not made any statements, have not been interviewed, have not cooperated, have not agreed to testify or be a witness for or against any party in the case, and have absolutely no intention of being involved in the trial process in any way. But what do you think about Gunna's new song, Bread and Butter? Do you think he is taking shots at Lil Baby and Lil Dirk? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.